So the title of my work is Coexistence. Um, it's an installation and I aim for it to represent the harmonious interaction between the built environment and the natural environment. I intended for it to represent sort of a tranquility as opposed to the destruction or the discords that could be caused between that relationship. Essentially they're um, stoneware, earthenware, ceramics. They're geometric forms and they also contain a, a natural object, so a natural found object, a stone or a piece of driftwood or stick. Some other works that I did produce as well um, include actual moss that I grew in my own backyard. I'm a mountain biker, so I spend a lot of time in nature, you know, on the trails, um, in the environment. So I really just have this connection with the environment um, and I wanted to, to play on that a little bit. Another point of inspiration was um, observing sort of ancient civilizations, seeing how roots have actually climbed through the buildings and torn apart the infrastructure, doing what it is designed to do and reclaiming its lands. Another part, a point of inspiration for me was um, contemporary Japanese artist um, Mineo Mizuno. He actually produced works that include moss as well, and I really was intrigued by the ephemeral nature of his works um, and how they were actually ever-changing. I like to work intuitively, that's why I chose ceramics. I found that it was um, the best art form for me to actually convey my um, concept. Because of lockdowns, I wasn't actually able to experiment fully with um, the glazes, so I just had to do what I could um, at school and um, you know, put in as many firings as I could to perfect it to an extent. The key parts to my process were um, actually sketching the forms, trying to find um, compositions that worked really well and harmoniously with the natural object and the geometric form. And I also experimented with hand building as well. I had the idea of actually um, pressing in the natural object into the clay while it was still wet. And that was sort of my aha moment where I was just playing around with my materials and I found something that, um, you know, created a composition that I really wanted to, to use. My grand grandma has a, um, an art studio and so she was definitely a strong influence in terms of um, me choosing ceramics as an art form. During lockdowns when I was walking outside, I'd sort of scout my local area for branches on the ground or pebbles in walkways and things like that. So I did actually build quite a collection and from that collection is where I put them up in a sketch and had a look at the composition and then chose the object from them. One of the most interesting and challenging things was working with both natural materials and the ceramics. So with my natural materials, I had to find ones that would suit the scale of my work and find a cohesive way to include them with the ceramic form. Glazing um, was quite a process as well and I found that very challenging. I've experimented with dipping the glazes um, as well as brush on glazes. I had to experiment with the different layering of glazes as well and firing temperatures. My advice would be to definitely experiment with different art forms and then settle with one that suits both your interests and your skills. Take photos of every everything you do, um, any ideas, um, any adjustments. It can really help you in inform you to um, convey those ideas and communicate those ideas in the final work.